I'm Max, this is One and Done, the show where I teach you how to make just one of something. Today we're gonna do stuffed acorn squash. I know there's two here, this looks like two portions. And you know what, sometimes on One and Done, we make extras so that we can eat a lot or share with someone who might be around. Let's go. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself an acorn squash. And what we're gonna do is just cut this guy in half, scoop out the seeds and get it into an oven at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Let's get these guys seasoned up a little bit. Some good olive oil. Good pinch of salt, as much or as little black pepper as you like. Now I'm also just gonna go ahead and throw in a couple thyme sprigs right on top of these guys. All right, now we're gonna make some quinoa, but you could do farro or rice. You can do whatever you want, really. That's kind of the best part about this recipe. We'll just bring this up to a boil, down to a simmer, cover it for 15 minutes, good to go. Got a sweet Italian sausage here, but you can use whatever you want. If you don't want to use meat, you can do beans, but this guy's gonna be delicious. This thing's ripping hot. Let's go ahead and get our sausage in there. Now I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. While that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and dice up half of an onion. You can do scallions, really whatever you want. Can go in this thing. Set that aside. And now we'll prep some kale. You could also do spinach. It's one of the most flexible recipes, really. Make sure you give your kale a good massage. Let's give this a little mix. Getting some good color. Now that our sausage is mostly cooked through, let's add in a little bit of olive oil in the pan and go in for onions. And we'll do a little pinch of salt and pepper. And we'll go ahead and just cook that down for a little bit. I also have some fresh thyme, so we're gonna go ahead and go in there with that. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of curry powder. You don't have to do this, but I think a little bit of warm spice is gonna go really good with this dish. Now we're gonna go in with our kale. In order to get this to wilt down really quickly, what I'm gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of water, or you can use stock, and just cover it for a couple minutes. More olive oil. Going with our garlic. Our mixture is just about ready. We're gonna throw in our quinoa and just kind of mix everything together in this pan and then go right into our squash. You gotta have something crunchy. You could do pumpkin seeds, but I'm gonna do a little bit of walnuts today. Warm everything through. And we'll go in with a few cranberries. For sweetness, you could use pomegranate seeds. You could use apples. Finally, gotta have some kind of cheese. I'm gonna do Parmesan because Parmesan's the best. Give it one more mix and let's stuff these bad boys. Extra Parmesan on top, obviously. You can stuff this up however you want. Some fresh sage would probably be good on this, but I'm gonna go with a little bit of fresh thyme, a little extra drizzle of olive oil, and some fresh, coarse, cracked black pepper. Let's give this guy a try. Gotta get some of the squash in there, some of the stuffing. This guy's hot. Mm. You really can't beat warm fall spices and warm fall flavors. This is delicious, I hope you make it. 